we are going to do a little experiment here. So here I have some very cold water. It's got ice in it. Here is just some room temperature water and here is some very hot water. It actually kind of melted my cup. It's very hot. So I'm going to bring this a little closer so you can take a look here. And you can do this at home or you can do it with me at school. So I just want you to describe any movement that you see. So take a look here and describe any of the movement you see happening in these water molecules. So we've got cold, room, hot. How are the molecules moving? So we have learned that we have the kinetic theory of energy that actually says that all molecules move. So if I look here, it does not really look like these are moving. It doesn't look like anything is happening here. But these molecules are actually moving. Molecules always move. The kinetic theory of energy says that molecules always move. So I am going to add a little food coloring here and let's watch what happens. Okay, so you can see kind of starting to spread out here. It's kind of at the bottom and it's just kind of staying there. But it is like starting to spread out here. So I'm not mixing this or stirring it, but it is changing colors because we can we know that these molecules are actually moving. So now we have this really cold water here and I'm going to add some food coloring here. Actually, I'm going to take out my ice cubes first because if they stick to the ice cube, then they really don't. Then they just kind of sit there. Okay, so I have this very cold water here and I'm going to add my drop of food coloring and we're going to see how does this mix up. So that one went down and it is kind of just staying there. It is moving a tiny bit. Let me see if I can get a little closer here. So it's moving a tiny bit, but not a ton because the water is so cold. You can kind of see it just kind of sitting there. It's very slowly starting to mix. Like, let me see if I can, so you can kind of see it there just kind of sitting because the molecules are moving, but they're moving so slowly it's having a hard time mixing. Where now if we take, here's my um, room temperature one you can see, right? That's spread out a lot more. And then we have our hot one here. So these molecules are very warm and so right they're wanting to push and get away from each other. So if I put in some food coloring here, maybe. Okay, so we can see already that that one is moving and spreading out quite a bit more already because these warmer molecules are moving so much faster. So you can already see like the whole cup is of water is turning red because these molecules move so much faster. So the temperature of our molecules really affects their speed. So when we have things that are just at a medium speed, a medium kinetic energy, they're going to move at a medium speed. Something that is very cold, and right, this was filled with ice, we know, right? Those that's a solid, those are packed together. So this is actually going to have a very low kinetic energy. It's hardly moved at all. The water is still very clear. You just have that food coloring. It has spread itself out, but it's still really just sitting there. Our medium one has colored itself, but it took a lot longer than this hot water here. All these molecules are moving, 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 wanting to get away from each other. And this whole cup has mixed and turned red very quickly because all of those molecules are moving. This has a very high kinetic energy 
because those molecules are moving so much.